All right, so real quick, before I get into the top of doors, I just want to show some of my favorite parts of, you know, being into cigars. These uh, cigar boxes right here are really nice. So this is the Don Carlos Tubos. You know, you get this cool certificate of authenticity. And let's see, this is a double Robusto. So there's only 500 boxes made for them. For whatever year this was yeah released november 2022 there it is so just cool stuff very nice to have you get these two bows as well it's a nice uh homage right there you can pause and read that if you'd like and uh yeah because i have a bunch of boxes so i think it'd be cool to show those as well because it's definitely a part of the uh, cigar experience, isn't it? Look at that. Just piano black box. So damn sexy. Right? And these uh, are, you know, for cigars that we've already gone through. And before I get into the Tupper Doors, which has a lot of uh, boxes for those as well. And uh, let's see. So this is the, the rare pink box. Happy ending. Vintage 1960 series. This is this is cool. You know, you know, when do you ever see a pink box, right? Pink cigar box. Like literally never. And uh this looks like a box of donuts or something. Um this this is cool. There's like you guys, I don't know if you can see it, but they're like textured. Very cool stuff. It's not textured actually. Well, is it? It kind of kind of feels like it's imprinted on there a little bit. This is uh Yeah, I appreciate this stuff. I think you guys would too. This right here, though. This is my baby right here. I, when I saw these, oh, I wish they had a full box. I, I totally would have bought it. But, I mean, I got the box, but it was only half full. And that's okay. I mean, I know that sounds so... We're all, we're all in this together. It is what it is. <laughs> I'm sure you guys feel me on you know on that you know it just would have been nice too I'm, I'm grateful for everything i have you know definitely grateful to get my hands on this box and the uh the cigars that i picked up with it because this, this just this cigar just feels you know it just feels real special to me the first one i had was on my birthday and it was hands down one of the best cigars i ever had so you know it just feels special it really does. I love the two-tone red and black too, right? Isn't that cool? All right, let's get into it. What we got? Oh, I got to put this in the box. Next. We got Tupper Door number one. Some guy was like, got ten dollar cigars and a ten dollar. Uh, what did he say? A ten dollar plastic container. I'm like, actually no, bro. Like the cigars that I had in here were, you know, literally the Opus X stuff, and I. I had these before I bought any of the Opus X stuff, and I'm, well, I mean, I had. Everything in Tupper doors before I bought my need one humidor, and I had everything in here, no problem. So it's definitely a viable solution. Anyway, so right here we got Placencia Elmo del Campo. Have not tried this cigar yet, but again, it's like when I've tried everything from Placencia, and everything is just it hits. I don't even like. I already know I'm going to enjoy this cigar. This is this is going to be a good breakfast cigar for me. I already know it. And let's see. So this is a box of hexagon 
shaped ones, which I also have that hexagon box right here. Let me let me grab it for you guys. So this is the box that those came in. And I'll leave that there for a second. Look at that. Another cool box. They used to have the boxes that were uh, were ashtrays. Now they sell the ashtrays on their website. I might have to pick one up. They look nice. And they made a they just released a hexagon ashtray. I might have to grab that. But but yeah, look at that. Cool stuff. Right, May 23. Nice, I like that they have the date on there. So, so these, these are a full box here of each of these blends. I have all the boxes for these as well, but the rest of them, they're just kind of just simple boxes. I brought out the ones that I thought were cool to look at for sure. Let's see what's next. Next up, we've got the Alma del Fuego. So this is the Robusto, which is running low. Oh my goodness. I might have to pick up some more, but I got these. Still just chilling. The um, Lancero, which seems to be a favorite for most people. Can't wait to light these up. And the Toro size as well. So... Yeah, once you figure out, you know, your palette and what you like, you know, you'll know what company you vibe with, and then it's, it's pretty easy to enjoy all of their offerings, you know, and you don't have to just stick with one, and you don't have to have them all, because sometimes, you know, there's, there's a, what am I trying to say? There are brands out there that I only like a single blend from them and nothing else, you know? I'm sure of it. I just... Sometimes, though, like Fuente, most of their stuff is good, which, before I get into all that, I don't like everything they make. Like, their their Hemingway line, I'm not a big fan of, but everyone seems to love it. So, this is the... Uh, yeah. Like I said, when you know you like something from someone, you can just, like, this is it right here for me. This was just a phenomenal smoke. So I already know, based on the quality of their smoke, the consistency, even from humidor to humidor, you just know this is a good company that you want to deal with. And you can see the quality in their rolls and in their wrappers and everything. And in the craftsmanship, in the craftsmanship of the cigar. So this is the Robusto format right here. And we've got the Toro size right here. It's got a soft box press. And the unique, and I'm pretty sure no one else is doing this, but Placencia, the hexagon shaped. Which seems to be, you know, love or hate. I think it's cool. Giant cigar, but it's definitely nice. The um, the natural wrapper, the green, the one with the green label, love it. So I already know these are going to be some amazing cigars right here as well. And I know what you're thinking, like, yo, those are crazy expensive. That's like $1,000 worth of cigars right there. But believe me, I probably paid like half of that. You just got to know where to look. Like, I don't think I paid more than 10 bucks a cigar for these. And I know that they go in stores for like 20 to 25 And honestly, they smoke like that. You know what I mean? And like, if you want to compare this to other premium offerings, they're right there, bro. They are right there. So... I would definitely scoop these up while you can if, if you find them for a cheap price. And uh, that's just a hint for you guys. I'm, I know where you can get them for a cheap price. So 
So, moving on to the next tupper door. Okay, moving on here. What we got? So these these are going to be a bunch of singles. I'm going to set this up right here, but there are some special sticks in here as well. So first up, we're going to do these Milanios. So these are the Oliva Siri V Milanio, the Natural, and the Maduro. These are Churchill sized. What do you guys like? I mean, that's probably a random question right now at this time, but for me, I love these Natural ones more than the Maduro. Like the natural, something special about this cigar, it, this, for this cigar, and you'll, you'll see, man. I mean, you've all, you guys probably all been through this, but a lot of you guys have been smoking for a long time. But for me, you know, I've been smoking for a couple of years now. And so I have this, you know, you, you develop these relationships with these cigars, right? And this one right here gave me like the first time I got hit with really, like nutty almond and uh, like real nutty flavors and the most silkiest smoke. Like I thought when I was blowing out smoke from this, like it felt literally wet, like oily smoke. Just, yeah. So I absolutely love the uh, Milanio cigar. And uh, I had boxes of them, but I've been burning through them. This is all that I have left now. And I say that like, oh my goodness, I don't have no more, but I have plenty. You know, I'm grateful for what I have. Of course, very grateful to have all of these cigars and be able to smoke them and have the time to smoke them as well. So, now these are some special ones right here. These are not sold individually. So this is a Lancero, 7 by 38 or 39 ring gauge. And you've got the Milano and Milano Maduro. Now, like I said, these are not sold individually, at least not right now. They may have been offered in the past. The only way to get these is with this uh, special sampler box. And the sampler comes, um, I believe, like this. So I'll show you guys because I, I bought two of these samplers. So the sampler comes with two Lanceros. Oh, I, I'm, I'm, out, I'm out of the... Um, the other one. Okay, that's all right. So it comes with. Do I have any more? No, that's it. I don't have any more Milanios except these Churchills. Okay, so the sampler comes in a pack. Just imagine that these two were the same Figueroa shapes. Okay? So the sampler comes in a pack like this, the six pack sampler. Um, it's definitely available, but you get. One of each in a Lancero, Figueroa, and a Churchill size, Milano and Maduro. So this is the best sampler to get. If you want to get into uh, the Oliva and you want to try them out, this is the one to get. And the cool thing about it is you get these Lanceros, which are not available any other way. So that's cool. I've been waiting to try these. I've been letting them rest for as long as I could because it's always good to let the cigars rest especially when they're online orders like these were. So the longer they can rest, the better, you know. Some people, I mean, I've, I've done a month or two months to let cigars rest, but man, the longer the better, you know what I mean? And I'm definitely looking forward to trying these out. So let's see what else we got here. Okay, some Padron. Padron 3000. Great, great, great cigars right here, and cheap too, man. Like, like under ten dollars cheap, like six, seven dollars. Sometimes maybe even five bucks. Have Have I seen these for five dollars? Crazy deals on these for sure, and they are very good cigars. Um, these right here, man. These Sanch Patels. I don't know what happened, but maybe it's you know whoever I bought them from. But it did not go well for me with these cigars so far. Wait a second. These don't have wrappers. Let me... Uh, I don't want to damage these cigars right now. Let me be careful here. Okay. Put this here. Bring out another tray. Okay. So, Sanj Patel. I know this is an amazing smoke. But unfortunately for me, 
the vendor, I think, I, I'm going to blame the vendor on this one because I know these cigars are good because everyone really loves them. So I just know they're good and they've been reviewed. And I can't blame, I can't blame the cigar, but I know the vendor who sold me these. Okay, so let me, let me take it back here. Um, these Sanj Patels right here. Okay, I don't take it all the way back. But yeah, take it back. And the thing is with these Sanj Patels. So the vendor that I bought these from, I bought these Robustos right here in a five pack. And as soon as I got them, I noticed that they were like rock hard. They were like bricks. Okay, when they came in the mail. I said, all right, no problem. I'm going to let them rest. They've been chilling for months now. This one is, uh, look, it's, it's cracked already. You see that? That sucks. And these are chilling at 65%. These aren't even at 62. They're at 65. Okay, anyway. But yeah, this stiff as hell. And I tried to smoke the first one. Maybe got through maybe for the first half inch of it. And then just plugged. Nothing else. And second one and third one, it got gradually better, but you know, I, I have not smoked one of these fully, not even past halfway. I only have two left. So I can't blame the, the cigar. I, I'm pretty sure it was the vendor because he shipped it without and I ordered these online and they shipped it without any humidification. Uh, they shipped it without any humidification or anything. And when I got them, like I said, they were just freaking stiff as bricks. And same with the Churchill ones right here, like unbelievably rock hard. Okay. Now these these were from another vendor, and they were a bit better. See, look, there's some play here. This is good. This one's decent. Yeah, these these are probably smokable, and I've had one of these, and it was all right. It was good. I think it was the Lanceros. Oh yes, yes, these came in a sampler pack. With Lanceros, and here's one. I smoked one already, and it was great. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, now I remember. Cause it, yeah, like I said, they've been just. I've just had these sitting at this point. Like I don't even know if I'm gonna smoke these or not. And I honestly, I don't even think I smoked all three of the five pack that came in this. I might have threw one of them out because it was just so like it was like literally rock solid. So I just tossed it out for, out of frustration. You know what I mean? So, that's that. All right, so what do we got here? This is Oliva Siri G Maduro. Gonna try this soon, hopefully. These are the CAO Brasilia Anacondas. Like I said, like I bought these for maybe like 4 or $5 a cigar. I love the uh, Robusto, and I was like, man, if I can have, if I'm enjoying the Robusto, sometimes you just want to have a giant cigar, right, and just... You got time, and you ha and you got time today for it. Then I just want to kick back with with the giant Solomon eight by fifty eight cigar. But you know what? It just doesn't hit the same. It really doesn't. Like uh, they, I would have rather had the Robustos, but they're good nonetheless. And again, some cheap sticks for you know. I actually just did a journal cigar journal on these, and I smoked one of these. And it was good, and it, it fit the bill, which was, all right, short on time, or just want a cigar and don't want nothing, like don't want to waste a good, expensive cigar. So definitely comes in handy for that. Um, you know, for like cutting the grass or something like that, this is what you want. <laughs> like a cigar that you can just smoke on and forget about. You know, you're not, you're not worried about tasting notes and anything like that. That's what this is great for. And, you know, and there, there are plenty of other cigars like that. Most cigars are like that, you know, unless you're talking about all those crazy stuff I've been showing you guys. Okay, so this is Ipicaio La Historia. Can't wait to try this. I really, oh man, I've enjoyed all the Ipicaio stuff. The Encore and the Pledge. Just phenomenal cigars. I have not tried this one yet. And I got this in the sampler pack. And hang on. I'm going to go get that box. 
Okay, so this is that sampler box, and it comes with all three of these cigars. Prequel, Majestic, E3, I'm not sure which is which right now, but those are the three cigars that comes in it. And so far, two out of three were phenomenal. I mean, I don't think any other cigar has been like rated number one. You know, they have like two number one cigars and then a number two cigar right there. Like, they have some crazy high rating. Um, what else? Also, the Encore, the, uh, the Allegiance. Is that what it's called? I think it's called Allegiance. Or it's the one with the green label. That one is amazing as well. Definitely, Ipi Carillo makes some great stuff. And uh, yeah, I need to get back around to them for sure. Got this uh, Illusion Candela right here. Mostly just for novelty of it. I don't know. But uh, I might have picked this up in like a sampler with other Illusion stuff. And uh, just trying out different blends at some point from uh, like boutique shops. Like like boutique blends. I forget what I, I had. Obviously, they weren't that good. <laughs> but... Uh, yeah, and these are the uh, LFD footballs, just letting them chill in the box. I'm going to try one of these soon. They're definitely ready to smoke, for sure. You know, And you know, perfect draw, cigar glue, that's going to seal that right up, no problem. Definitely looking forward to that. LFD, man, they make some good stuff as well. Lots, lots of uh, good smokes. I hope you guys are enjoying this humidor tour. I think it's going well, showing you guys everything that I've had. Kind of just, now that I'm talking more about what's, you know, some stories of these cigars and how I came across them. So, but yeah, back to these, these SP14s. They just got so much hype online. And I was like, I, I really got to try this. Like, every time I opened my Instagram, I saw this blend, you know? And with cigars, my best recommendation is to just try it. Like, there's no other solution. Just go out and try a cigar. However, buying online is tricky. And especially with new vendors that, you know, you're trying for the first time, you never know what you're going to get. But once you've once, especially because not only that, not only it was a first time for me trying out this vendor, but they don't have like a big, you know, internet. Obviously, they're not big onto internet marketing or selling their stuff online in their shop. Like they, it might have just been an individual store. They're not big online retailers because, you know, this was a. Uh, it was pretty tough to find this cigar, honestly, especially buying online. And when I went to go find it from uh, when I was I was in Detroit at the time, and uh, my guy who usually has them there, and he was out of them at the time. So, but he did give me some. Uh, he looked out for me and gave me some. Uh, the other, oh my goodness, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I'm. Just, it's just coming back to me right now. The uh, industry killer, I think it's called, in, in the Habano wrapper and the, in the Maduro wrapper. He hooked me up with some of those. And those were phenomenal. So I know for a fact those are gonna those are some good cigars. Yeah, I just need to get I just need to get my hands on some uh, some better ones, or we'll see. Hopefully those smoke well. Who knows? You know, rest rest time for a cigar does wonders. So maybe that might do the trick. So what do we got here? Uh, let's see. So this is a leaf by Oscar. Again, these are uh, these are going to be like more singles and stuff that I'm trying out, or uh, basically more into the newer cigars that I didn't put straight into the humidor. Also, the humidor was totally stuffed for the longest time, and I've just been smoking it down. Now I see that there's some space in there. <laughs> so let's let's see what we got here. We've got the uh, Oscar leaf, and uh, I just wanted to pick this up. I have the leaf as well that this actually comes wrapped in, but uh, yeah, I'll have to do a video on that sometime. This is a crazy cigar. 
I uh, have not tried it though, but definitely looking forward to it. This is the Sumatra wrapper, yeah. Sumatra. And uh, we'll see how it goes. So, the Davidoff, this was another a newly released one from this year. The uh, 10th anniversary Nicaragua. This is, this is a giant cigar right here. We'll see how that goes. My father's cigar, the Judge. And, you know, I've tried it in different Vitolas. Huge pepper bomb for me. And uh, so we'll see how this one goes. I've been, it's been hit or miss. It's been hit or miss. But my father's cigars, and I, and I don't mean hit or miss as in bad. I mean, it's been like either great cigars or good cigars. And so it's definitely good, the, the, the previous ones I've tried. So definitely looking forward to this one. Again, Adventura, great cigars. This is the Conqueror. And this is my last one right now. And I bought a sampler of a bunch of their stuff. And this is a really good cigar. That that Dominican tobacco. Like for me, I think Dominican tobacco is my jam. Like all the Dominican stuff really, it really does it for me. Let's see what we got. So, yeah, these, these are, I was talking about these earlier. These are the 858s, Sun Growns. I mean, just wow. I was, I was trying to get a box of these for the longest time, but I didn't get it in time for my cutoff, <laughs> you know, which I've been on right now. So I'm going to have to wait. And yeah, th this is just totally a box worthy cigar. The A58 Sun Grown blew me away when I had it for the first time. Blew me away. Let's see what we got here. Uh, also, I got this Crux Epicure, something new I wanted to try. I believe this is like a new blend and a new release from them. So, I don't know. I've never tried any of their stuff. Looking forward to this as well. And let's see. I'm going to pull out the Foundation Cigars. So, I have these separated, like kind of Connecticut natural wrappers and then Maduro wrappers on the outside. Just with that box. Um, I know I'm missing one of them. Where is it? Oh, there it is. Okay, so this is the foundation foundation cigars. So we've got the uh, the Olmec and the Natural. Please tell me it's the Natural. I, I hope it is because I really, really like the Natural on this side. The, the Colorado Claro wrapper. It definitely looks like a Natural wrapper on there. So... This is a great smoke. Phenomenal smoke right here. This, you know, that Colorado Claro wrapper, again, that, that goes back to what I like. Um, the, the Placencia, the, uh, the Alma Forte Natural, same thing, Colorado Claro wrapper. Really love those, those sweet and spicy notes. That's totally my speed. So this was a great, great cigar. Uh, and then these as well, man, the uh, Foundation, the Tabernacle. So we've got the Havana Connecticut seed right here on the left and uh, the Connecticut Broadleaf right here on the right. And these are some great cigars as well. And I haven't tried them in this Vitola. I usually get them in the uh, smaller, thinner uh, Vitola. So these are more like regular Toro sized. So we'll see how that goes. What else we got? We got the Rocky Patel 60. The uh, Rocky Patel, um, they make, they're definitely hit or miss. They make some good cigars. The ALR, two a, the second year, second edition ALR, I love that cigar. And uh, this one I've been meaning to try for a while, so it's been resting, so definitely going to give this a whirl soon. What else do we have? Oh yeah, Rojas Blue Bonnet. Had a few of these already. These are these are some decent smokes. They're pretty good. Um, they seemed a little bit harsh the first few that I had, and uh, so I'm definitely you know I'm not in a hurry to smoke this last one yet. Just letting it rest a little bit. But uh, yeah, they were some decent cigars. And we've got the Drew Estate Sun Grown. I believe this is discontinued. Yeah, I think this is a discontinued cigar right now. So. If you like them and your your cigar uh, humidor has them, your cigar shop, yeah, make sure you pick them up. So yeah, 
the sun going right there. I don't know. I mean, it's it's a good cigar, but nothing I, I really want to seek out right now. Let's see. The Placencia. This is, <laughs> I think this is another discontinued cigar right here. The 149 Cosecha. So, yeah. I haven't tried this yet, though. But we'll see how it goes. I mean, it's probably the only one I'm going to get my hands on for a while. <laughs> All right, let's see what we got here. So this is some Byron stuff. I don't know too much about these, but I know that they're very expensive and uh, very hard to come by. And I don't think not a lot of people know much about these anyway, because they seem to be very uh, secretive about what's in them, about the blends and whatnot. So these are all different Vitolas, different editions. Um, some of these, I think these last two are supposed to be Maduro cigars. I'm not sure. I need to look at my order. <laughs> I need to look at what I ordered, man. It's been a while. Um, yeah, and like I said, I've not tried these yet. But from what I heard, these are some, some straight bangers. So we're going to see. And uh, yeah, the the first two here on the left, are the most popular, I believe. I forget the namings of them, but um, yeah, we're, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. I, I just figured, kind of made my old sampler and wanted to just try them all out and see because these are very expensive cigars. So, like, like I'm talking like thirty to forty dollars a cigar, and if they're good, then we'll see how it goes. So. And the uh, cousin of this cigar is going to be the Atabase. I think they're made by like, or they're owned by the same company, which I can't think of the name right now. But the Atabase as well, another very secretive blend. Now these are just different Vitolos of the same blend. And uh, definitely looking forward to trying these out. Now these are some Connecticut cigars. Supposedly... You know, right up there with your uh, favorite Cuban cigars, and even the wrapper kind of has like, like some Cuban esque vibe going on there, right? So we'll see how these go. And from what I hear, these are also some bangers, but they're also very expensive too, in that I think thirty thirty five dollar range. Let's see what we got here now. Okay. What should we do first? So this is the Cavalier White Series Genevieve. Uh, this is a good cigar. It is. Uh, enjoyable. Enjoyable. I've smoked a few of these. Just kind of like, just chilling on this one till that right moment comes. Uh, I think the coolest part, of course, is that burning through this gold leaf right here is very nice. <laughs> that's uh, You don't get that often, and that's so cool. But I noticed they their branding kind of went in a different direction. And I'm like, you know, you were doing, to me, I like this. I like the elegant, the classiness of this band and actually smoking through a gold diamond, you know, like that's, that's, you know, it doesn't get much better than that for, you know, being a cigar aficionado. So, but I think they're coming back to this style, uh, this kind of branding. So, but regardless, uh, this, this is a decent cigar. It's definitely worth a try, especially if you're like undecisive. Yeah, that's that's a good cigar to just pick up. Definitely can count on that. So Sobromesa, Sobromesa, Dunbarton. This is a popular cigar, I'm sure. This is a favorite among the uh, cigar community. Uh, this is the regular Sobromesa Brulee. And the Toro. I haven't tried this one yet. I've tried it. I've tried it in the smaller ring. I think it was like a Robusto size. Definitely a very good Connecticut cigar. Uh, very satisfying smoke, man. And last but not least. Oh, is that last? It might be. The Sobro Mesa Brulee Blue. And I think that's, that's perfect. Because this is the last cigar. And I have a question for you guys. Because I've had a couple of these already. Amazing cigar. Phenomenal cigar, okay? Um, totally, totally just amazing, but not for me because it's got a sweetened tip or does it? You tell me guys, I don't know, but to me, 
there's there's something on the end of this that changes the flavor of the cigar. I think it'd be better without whatever that is.